Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn the cup plate method or the cylinder plate method which is used for the assay of antibiotics by means of microbiological method. Here the petri plate will be used as the basic thing in which the agar medium is placed over which the microorganism culture will be strict or we can have use of a liquid medium and in that liquid agar medium the enzyme solution will be mixed and then that plate will be kept for settling or solidifying of the medium. This method depends upon the diffusion of an antibiotic into the culture medium and then the antibiotic which will be having the effect against that microorganism it will be inhibiting the growth of microorganism in the circular area that circular area will be known as zone of inhibition with the help of animation we are going to see what exactly happening in the cup plate method so first is we will be requiring the enzyme solution and the petri dish. Now this petri dish will be poured with the agar medium. Either this agar medium will be liquid agar medium and then the enzyme solution will be mixed in it or we can have the agar medium which will be solidified and after the solidification of the media the enzyme solution will be strict over the agar medium by using the different stricking techniques. Then we are supposed to use the borer to have the cavities in the agar medium. So this boring will be having the formation of cup like structure inside the medium or we can go for use of the cups which will be kept in this uh, the circular areas made with the borer and then we are supposed to put the different concentration or the concentration against which we are going to check the antibiotics inhibition or it will be inhibiting at what concentration it is going to inhibit the growth of microorganism that concentration will be poured into the area so we can go for use of a single single antibiotic or we can have use of different antibiotics so here this color indicates different antibiotics used in the single media then the plate will be kept for incubation so after incubation we can observe this zone of inhibition that is there is no growth of microorganism here we can have the growth of microorganism so this zone of inhibition for different antibiotics will be measured with the help of scale and then the graph of the zone of inhibition the diameter versus log concentration of the antibiotic will be plotted so that the concentration whether it is effective against that particular microorganism or not that will be checked with the help of this cup plate method Thank you.